What up guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you guys day number 30 in my 6th annual 31 Days of Horror. This is a series in which we watch and review 31 horror films in 31 days, all during the month of October, leading right up to Halloween. It is Devil's Night, and the film that I decided to watch is one that the homie Derek, aka DBouge42, sent me, and that is The Fan. This is put out by Mondo Macabro. And it is from the year 1982. Uh, it is a German film, and I actually don't know much about it. You know, I didn't know much about it going into this movie. Uh, all I know is I loved, loved this cover art, man. It. I remember when it came out, I was like, dude, there's just something about this cover art that I absolutely love. The premise of this film sounded really cool to me. Basically, it follows a young teenage girl who is obsessed with this pop icon named R, just one letter R, and she pretty much ditches, ditches school and just travels to wherever he is filming a TV show and basically just waits outside for him for days. Uh, he eventually does come outside and actually surprisingly notices her and basically takes her with him to to his you know, recording and then on to his uh, vacation home and stuff like that. Uh, and basically, things sort of spiral out of control. Uh, that's basically how I'll leave the plot off there. Um, this film is, like, good, but it's it, the pacing is a little off. Um, there is about an hour, an hour before anything horrific or horror-related even happens. It's like... The entire movie is a build-up to this one scene, and honestly, it was not as powerful as you would hope in a film like this. These type of movies are supposed to be um, very well-developed to where this payoff um, is very emotional, and it really wasn't. I don't think that the character was developed as well as she could have been. Um, I think the obsession could have been uh, pushed through a little bit more. However, I thought that this film had um, great cinematography as well as music. It, it just had a good feel to it, good vibe. Blu-ray is outstanding, looks really great. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a decent movie, uh, but it feels like it could have been a lot better, honestly. And uh, I'm just going to come in at a 7 out of 10 on this one. I still enjoyed it. Like, I wasn't bored at all. Um, it just... It was a little of bit of a letdown that you that you wait so long to get this payoff, and it honestly was just like kind of cool. Uh, so that's it for today, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow with the thirty first and final review. So um, it's been fun. See you guys tomorrow.